Hi guys, my name's Laura and I am the Specky Seamstress. Today I'm going to show you some fabric that I've bought and some places that I've been fabric shopping recently. So stay tuned. Um, I am wearing Atelier and the Buttons Frankie T. I had to think. <laughs> uh, Atelier and the Buttons Frankie T-shirt in um, a polka dot jersey. This, the sleeves and the neckband used to be a t-shirt dress that I bought. It actually wasn't in my video of um, looking at my old unwanted clothes because I'd already planned <laughs> to make this before. I was just waiting on the plain black jersey, uh, which I bought from Minerva Crafts. So very happy with this. This is going to get a lot of wear. <laughs> you will see it many times, I'm sure. I travel around the UK for work um, semi-frequently and uh, whenever I go abroad as well, <laughs> I like to explore the fabric shops and I thought it might just be quite nice to show you new shops when I am going out and exploring them and you can kind of see them with me. So I have been in Glasgow and Perth in Scotland for work um, the last few days up during the last week so I thought I would show you <laughs> where I went. Um, I did go to Remnant Kings who I've spoken about before um, because I've been there before it's right in the city centre and I didn't buy anything this time and I actually didn't film anything this um this time either so apologies um for that one but I'll film again another time when I'm up there um but I didn't pick anything up I I think I might wait until they next have a really good sale <laughs> I'm a bit of a bargain hunter um it's just because the first time I went in there they had this huge section of £1.99 a metre fabrics and I picked up some plain jerseys to practice on because it was just as I was getting into stretch fabrics and yeah they didn't this time and I sort of wandered around and, and uh, saw a few things I liked they have a really nice selection but didn't pick anything up but then I thought I'd try some new places that I hadn't been before so I walked down to Fabric Bazaar so I did some filming and I will show you that now what a treasure trove this is in Merchant City um, so on the west side of Glasgow and it wasn't too far from the hotel that I was staying in so went for a walk after work and had no idea what to expect really but uh, this was amazing a nice little um, Aladdin's cave of a fabric shop which is always fun because you don't quite know what you're gonna find had a really good selection of dressmaking fabric as well as craft fabric and upholstery fabric and um, curtain fabric and things good selection of tartans i'm about to show you what i purchased look at that look at the little colored flecks i got very excited about that um there were some things in there that i'd seen in other places but some new things as well really nice to wander around uh, the staff were absolutely lovely and uh, that's always nice in a fabric shop when you can kind of have a proper chat with people about what you might make and what they've made and things they had a selection of, of soft shells, who doesn't nowadays, <laughs> seems to be the in thing to have. So I already showed you in that video what I bought, but let me show you a little bit closer. I'm not sure how well this is going to come up. The light is fading on me a little bit, which is why I look a little bit yellow. <laughs> um, so this is a gorgeous jersey with these lovely coloured flecks on it which is, it's, it's quite a thick jersey. It's not got loads and loads and stretch, but it's it's quite a good stretch. And it sort of looks sort of open weave um, from the front, but from the back, you see, it's just a, a normal jersey. And I really liked this. And I didn't have long until they shut. And I was with a colleague and we needed to get back to the hotel. So I sort of couldn't decide. Um, it was 4 99 a metre and I ended up buying four meters which is way way more than I usually buy if I, usually if I don't know what I'm gonna make I'll buy two or two and a half um I knew I wanted to make a long sleeved top t-shirt um it's quite quite thick it wouldn't be as thick as a sweatshirt but you know a, a decent layer but I kind of wanted to make a dress so I bought enough for that but I've been thinking about it and I'm not sure it'll actually suit a dress but I am wondering if it will suit the new Dirando jumpsuit the Sirocco which I am in love with <laughs> so um I've made a couple of versions now and I reckon I need two and a half meters for the full length I've only ever done it from three meter cuts that I've had but 
I think I can make it from two and a half meters and yeah I think that might be quite cool so I would love your opinions that's all I picked up I was traveling I was flying but uh, hand luggage only <laughs> so I had to fit everything in plus my work clothes and my laptop um so yeah limited on space um, so then I headed to Perth after Glasgow uh, which is about an hour north of Edinburgh and they have a shop in town called Acorn I think it's called Acorn Fabrics and Furnishings now I didn't film in here because there were some other people in the shop and I didn't really want to kind of invade <laughs> um, it's more of an upholstery curtain sort of home furnishing um, fabric shop really but the ladies yeah, around really showed me all the books they stock the Clark and Clark Animalia, Animalia um, fabrics which they do in cotton and in velvet which I love <laughs> I'm so in love with them they're a little bit out of my price range so I did have a peruse and I stroked the fabrics the sample fabrics in their books but I did not order but I told you I love a bargain <laughs> they have a remnant section a roll end and remnant section they have shelves and I took a picture that I'll put in here um here if I can <laughs> um and I love a rummage I was brought up looking in boot fairs and boot sales and uh, charity shops and things so this appealed to me very much so and I picked up a couple of things and I picked up this and it's lovely like these grey um, geometric type patterns and I think I've got a good sort of metre metre and a half here um, and this was three pounds for the remnant which I thought was really good um i can't decide and i would really love your help on this tulip skirt or shorts <laughs> or something else if you if you think it would look good it's too thick for a top or anything and i've not got enough for a dress it's not really thick and it has sort of a little bit of drape to it but you can hear that it's got it's got structure to it and it has like a twill let it try and focus twill weave to it so that's what I'm thinking at the minute tulip skirt or um or I could make the Liesel everyday skirt which is a pattern I've got recently and I think might be quite nice in that so yeah welcome your opinions and I also picked up this which is not going to show well on the camera at all I'm shimmying closer this is a navy oh it might be doing better than i thought actually this is a navy i think wool blend it doesn't have any information on it but it certainly feels that way and looks that way i think um it has a little bit of a weave on it it's a gorgeous navy there's a meter and a half here easily and when i picked it up when i took it to the counter the lady working behind the counter said oh gosh that's beautiful oh if i'd have known that was there i would have bought that so i felt a little bit guilty um but i have the seam work not the seam work is it the seam work or colette um i've got it through my subscription to seam work um juniper trousers and i think these might be a good one to try it out on i'd love to be able to make smart work trousers i spoke about that in my last video and uh yeah that would be really cool so bearing in mind these weren't very expensive and um, i don't know how much this was because this and the other the next one i'm about to show you were 13 pounds together um so i spent 16 pounds in total but i thought it might be quite a nice trial out for a new pair of trousers so yeah really happy with that it's so it feels so lovely um, and then i got a bit of a wild card because i love a wild card I got this velvet which is a gradient velvet that's half of it so it kind of goes from the yellow up through the dark green back down to the yellow there's only about 75 centimeters here but I think I've got enough to make a pencil skirt um, and I think I've got enough to make a pencil skirt with the stripes horizontally and without the yellow at the bottom 
Now I'm struggling here where I am to show you it all but I'm going to try and put in a picture here and I'll put in a picture of the fabric and then I'll put in a picture of the fabric where I folded over the yellow at the bottom because I think that it's nicer without the yellow at the bottom and it's not really to do with the colour it's because you see here it sort of it gradients a bit and there's like some of the lighter colour a bit higher and then it's sort of a bit stripy the yellow is just a flat square like flat stripe at the bottom there's no kind of gradient and I think that's what I don't like about it but it's so lovely and uh, I was wearing my bright yellow coat <laughs> that I have not me made I'm afraid and um, when I bought this and there was a customer in the shop who when I took it to the counter and they asked me what I was going to make with it I said I thought I was going to make a skirt and I kind of held it up to me and the customer the other customer said oh look it's so you you can just tell <laughs> I thought that was really nice so yeah very very happy with that um then also in Perth there is a, a company called McNaughton Holdings they are based in one of the industrial estates in Perth uh, just quite close to the office that I was in and me and a colleague uh, went down they have a warehouse sale every month for two days so they don't sell fabrics traditionally they sell clothes um, and home furnishings and scarves and they're all well, not all of them but most of the fabrics are Scottish woven wool and we didn't know much about them we just knew that there was this place down the road <laughs> from the office that um, had uh, warehouse fabric sales every couple of months um, we went there and it's just like a warehouse as you would imagine from the name um, I'll put in some footage here but the video isn't that great um, because there were quite a lot of people there and uh, we were in a little bit of a rush and I didn't really show you the fabrics but um, I'll put in the uh, footage that I took here so as you walk into the warehouse there's a huge selection of tartans and then a whole range of kind of upholstery fabrics in, in wool and the sale that they have it's either £10, £5 or £2.50 a metre so really good value. Um, they also sell some of their kind of scarves and handbags and other bits and pieces and um, they had some jackets for sale as well that must have been end of range but yeah just a really amazing place to have a sort through and not really know what you're going to find so had a really good time looking here. Now, by this time, I was pretty close to flying home <laughs> and I didn't have a lot of room left in my bag and I was trying to be sensible. <sighs> but I picked up this, which is a beautiful bottle green wool. So you get a sticker with it on, so it's 100% wool. I'm hoping that it shows okay. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll tell you what it says. Um, it's a twill bottle green, 100% wool. I bought a metre of this. Gonna, see oh, if I can make myself a pencil skirt for work. I mean, I will from a yeah, metre. I'm going to make myself a, a smart work skirt with that. Um, now, they had these in lots of colours, and they did have a lovely one in a like a sort of duck egg blue, teal uh, kind of colour. And I picked it up, and I had it at the counter to be cut but I just decided that this was a bit more sensible it's boring isn't it um but I do happen to be coming back up to Perth the two days that they have their sale in July so who knows what I'll get there um and then I picked up this wide herringbone now this is going to come up too bright um this is a deeper um maroon wine type colour um, but it's quite a wide herringbone quite a large scale herringbone I looked at the narrower herringbones because I love them and I would love a green or a blue um, or a grey herringbone skirt or a pair of trousers if my trial pair works out okay um, and I bought a metre and a half of this one to make a tulip skirt I think because I think it will just be really smart um, but that place is awesome so if you're in Perth or near Perth and uh, you can visit there but yeah I'm definitely gonna pick up some more there I'm gonna try these out before I go up in July and show you um, and I also I've got a pattern for a blazer which is definitely beyond my sewing skill 
which I'd really love to try and how amazing would it be to make a little woolen smart blazer? Ah, I'm getting gushing about fabric. <laughs> I'd love to know where the most unusual place that you've been fabric shopping is. Um, do, you, do you go and look out fabric shops wherever you are like I do and let me know. Uh, do you like to see this? Would you like to see more videos like this? Please let me know in the comment box. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.